Thank you so much, Kevin. I really appreciate this opportunity. So once again, my name is Alexandra Appleton and I am the Anti-Domestic and Sexual Violence, also known as ADSB, Program Manager at Self-Enhancement, and I use she, her pronouns. I identify as a culturally specific consumer and provider of health, uh, behavioral health care services. And let me just start by saying that Black mental health matters. Thank you so much for sharing, uh, allowing me to share this statement with you. Due to the murder, enslavement, death, rape, torture, genocide, and cultural annihilation, um, I recognize and I hope that we recognize that mental health is directly connected to the physical health of indigenous, black, communities of color, and the global majority. These are some of the ways that Kate Brown and the masses can ensure that black, indigenous, and communities of color can be represented and or have influence over behavioral health policies and procedures. Number one is representation at every level of the charter. Lived experience at the exec level from bottom to top and top to bottom. Number two is restorative justice principles and standards. Equity and inclusion approaches are cool, especially when equity, uh, racial equity lenses are instituted um, and we also recognize that post-traumatic slave syndrome, the medical apartheid, and the COVID uprising and dis onslaught is real. Number three is disrupt the stigma um, regarding our experience in pain, regarding people of color, non-global, non-white, I mean, not non-global, my bad, global majority, non-white, recognize the pain that's there, invest in black mental health marketing campaigns. People like us see like, a, like we can see people like us. I'm um, also invest in healthcare career opportunities for our youth, indigenous youth, black and other non-white. Number four is restorative justice. Um, uh, representation, I mean, not number four, number four and is not restorative justice is representation. Representation um, is one thing, but um, appropriate compens compensation is another. Um, what replenishes our vessels, especially for us that are essential workers? Yes, salary is to a point, but when we get cut off with all social safety network systems, we are still living on a cuff and we are required to still show up and do our jobs, regardless of another innocent murder of another black man. Um, or another black body. Um, in my experience, I will also add that BIPLC have two or three jobs just to survive and um, that oppressed have been silenced for too long. Um, safe to say there is no way that we can repair 600 years of trauma unless with a day or two days or a decade or centuries of mental health. One of the ways, especially when um, behavioral health care system is controlled by the 1% that also control uh, this prison to pipeline and um, the child care for welfare system. So permanent supportive housing in rural neighborhoods, advocate for my children to go with to school with your children, restore the justice in that way. And including, um, I also want to mention that um, the trans Black Lives Matter does not dilute the Black Lives Matter. It actually deepens and enhances it. So that is another uh, uh, behavioral health um, av um, advocacy uh, point that I would like to know. Um, lastly, I would like to say is whatever comes, always follow up, always change accordingly without question. The word no, the word no, is a statement and with unapologetically we should be able to say no people of color black indigenous we should say no that is not for us that is not what we need and we need you to hear we need you not to judge and we need you to be present and um not require justification respect that because the global majority can create systems constructed to do exactly what they are meant to do, even better than dominant white society and agencies. We know that because hurt people hurt people and heal people heal people. And that's why the majority, the white people, or not the majority, white people are coming to culturally specific organizations and asking us, how can we prepare? How can we be harmless? Um, with that being said, I just wanna say thank you for this opportunity, Kevin, and um, please, uh, for all those out there, please speak beyond your noses. Um, actions speak louder than words. Thank you.